Hey Robot Makers, I wanted to give you a quick update on Explorer, so keep watching. Previously, we looked at how to build Explorer and how to map a room using LiDAR. In this video, we're going to look at some improvements and test out the electronics. I've made some design changes to the top section. As you can see on this first video, the motor is at the front, so I've flipped that so it's now at the back. I've also made some slightly larger holes so that the camera module can fit through and also so you can actually access the pins on the Explorer header. Previously, I couldn't actually access them. So I printed out four different versions of this header. It went through quite a few iterations and as you can see on here, uh, this is the final version with a notch for the camera. You can see there you can now actually access the header pins on the Explorer hat. And that's how the motors connect through. Here's all four versions of the top section. I'm now just going to fit the new top section by removing the old one and removing the standoffs from the LiDAR. It's quite fiddly, there's quite a few screws to do, but it's easy enough to change around, it's very modular in design. That camera hole slot fits nicely and the camera can peep through without any issues. Finally, we can fit the LiDAR back onto the robot and then everything is in place. So next up, we're going to install the Explorer Hat library. So now installing the script from Pimeroni for the Explorer Hat. It's very quick to do. We just press yes there and it will install everything we need and check all that the I squared C communications, all the SMB bus things are all as they should be. Now it does report an error here about it not being on the right architecture, but I installed the GPIO using pip. So next we're going to go into the Pimeroni folder, we're going to go into the examples and we're going to run one of the test scripts. This will test out that the motors are working perfectly. So we simply do Python 3 and then test. And here we go. So next the camera holder module. I had to tweak this a couple of times, you can see here there's not a notch in the first version for the little camera connection module and I've made a little notch there but this one actually wasn't big enough so I had to do a third version uh, which was slightly larger. That fits in now perfectly. It's quite a compact little robot, I'm not very happy with the wiring at the moment so I think that'll be something I'll look at next. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on Explorer and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.